season 11 of The Walking Dead capped off the flagship zombie drama with one more tantalizing glimpse of Rick Grimes, played by Andrew Lincoln, and Michonne, Denai Gurira, setting up more post-apocalyptic adventures to come on AMC very soon. Unfortunately, some eagle-eyed viewers spotted a distracting error hidden in the background of one of the last shots of the series. A major landmark which shouldn't exist within the timeline of The Walking Dead has somehow snuck into the background of last week's series finale. In the last ever episode of the mainline show, Rest in Peace, the survivors make one last stand against the Commonwealth after Judith Grimes, Gailey Fleming, is critically injured. After they've secured their safety, one final scene reveals Judith's father Rick is still alive and well and being tracked down by Michonne. However, the Civic Republic military CRM, is still hot on his trail, and the final moments of the episode see him surrendering against the backdrop of a ruined city. The city in question seems to have been identified as Philadelphia, but viewers familiar with the Pennsylvania metropolis may have noticed an egregious error on the skyline. One observant fan took to Twitter when they realized one of the city's newest additions shouldn't have been included in the climactic scene. Act Promos wrote, also to AMC for the future, this building, new Comcast building, was just built in 2018 why after the start of the apocalypse. No way it should be there. Benefits of being a Philly native the Walking Dead enthusiast accompanied his post by highlighting the skyscraper in a red circle, clearly visible to the right of the CRM helicopter. As the events of The Walking Dead kicked off in 2010, the year the first season premiered on AMC, it's highly unlikely the 60-story building would have been completed after a zombie apocalypse. Other viewers were also quick to point out that the Comcast Center's appearance doesn't line up with what they know of the TWD timeline thus far. Logan Miller replied, It's funny cause season 1 and 2 take place in 2010, seasons 3 to 8 take place from 2011 to 2012. News, Spoilers, Interview first five episodes of season 9 take place in 2013, and the rest of the show beyond takes place from 2019 to 2021, hence the one-year jump in the series finale. And at Charlesville 97 joked, this is like the time they used the green 4x4 in season 2 but it was a brand new 2013 car but the apocalypse started in 2010. Although other fans were willing to give the series the benefit of the doubt as imposing an entire city skyline into the background of a shot with VFX is no small task. Thomas Boofer replied, A, the show already takes place in an alternate universe where zombies never existed in pop culture. So some other things can be different. Maggie King added, All due respect. You are nitpicking at a show, that I happen to love, that is about the zombie apocalypse. Not exactly based in reality so. And at Platinum Steel suggested, they can just say CRM built it. After their brief yet intriguing appearance in the series finale, both Rick and Michonne are set to return for their own spin-off show in the near future. Perhaps the sequel will reveal why Philadelphia looked suspiciously modern in the closing scenes but, until then, fans have been left scratching their heads over another Walking Dead mystery. The Walking Dead seasons 1 to 11 are available to stream on Disney Plus in the UK.